morning people hi sunday morning um just wanted to check in first of all say hi i am doing more of a local trail this morning training so far this week has been quite hard to manage i went into the office on friday um and managed to do a um local or sorry a run around town for about 11 and a half kilometers um i want to i always want to try and do my training a back-to-back -back run of long runs or more difficult runs. This weekend is particularly frustrating though because I've been doing half marathons every weekend. I haven't managed to uh, to do one this weekend for the first time in about six or seven weeks. So it is what it is. It's okay, so I've got plenty of time to get some good training in. But Sorry, to slow down for a second um, because part of this running, when I started it off, I didn't quite know how to train for it and I was given a lot of recommendations. One of the things that people recommended was doing a 80-20 type of run which is 80% is low endurance, low impact, 20% is high intensity. So my weekend runs like a run like today should be going very very slow. What I found over the last week or two, um, which I noticed it last week at the Chilton, is that I end up going much faster and my heart rate has increased as a result of it which is contrary to what I've been trying to do. Um, I don't actually know what the best thing to do is at the moment, um, sticking to the slow runs or whether I should be increasing pace and whether that just means that I'm getting slightly more conditioned and fitter. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's kind of some of the dilemma that I kind of go through. Um, as you can see this morning, just empty space again. Love it, love it, love it. I've seen about two people so far this morning have been running for 45 minutes in the trails. Um, okay, better crack on, speak to you in a bit, guys. Hey guys, just uh, entered into um, one part of the run which I I um, kind of struggle with slightly, it's called Bentley Priory. Uh, I don't struggle with it because of the terrain or the uphills or the paths or anything. Just because every time I come in here, I always try and find the lake, um, which is really beautiful. And sometimes I succeed, sometimes um, I don't. Anyway, so yeah, let me just show you. Sometimes the dilemma that you get is, I've got one path down there, which is tempting just because of the glorious sunshine. Another one down there, which is a bit darker. Um, don't know which one to take, I'm gonna take the darker one. Let's go for it, okay. I'll see you in a bit. I think I know where I'm going now. Yes, I know exactly where I'm going. What we do is we go over this bit here, over the stream, try and find a safe place to cross up. And then it's basically behind those trees over there. Here we go, here's the lake. So you get a really good shot over here. How cool, how cool. Just wicked, love it. Right, success, successful run. Right, second job of trying to succeed today is making sure I get back for nine o'clock so I get myself stretched, showered, and I have to take uh, my youngest son Dylan to football. Right, better crack on the start too. I was loath to stop, I was loath to stop. Uh, running's going really well. Um, legs are feeling great. I'm actually really gutted I can't do a half marathon this morning, so about an hour and 10, hour and 15 in so far. Got another 15, 20 minutes to go. But look, I don't know if you can see that. So behind me. Just awesome. It's, this is, uh, I'm now out of Bentley Priory. I've gone into Stanmore, I don't know what the area is called. I think it's basically by Stanmore Cricket Club and by the Rugby Club. There's a few trail paths I discovered um, in the summer and, well, spring actually, uh, during lockdown. Um, it's just really nice. It's really it's lovely to get out here hot on your own, running through the paths. Hang on, hot to one day. Right. Okay. Um, obviously, all of this is done for in preparation and part of training for the 100k that we're doing one run one day in may next year all to raise awareness and funding of course for the wonderful outsiders research uk okay oop nearly straight over that's a sign better put the camera away okay okay coming to the end of the road now guys um i tend to walk down this bit um, when i'm wearing trail shoes they're um four millimeter heel to toe which means you don't get a lot of cushioning uh, great with lugs so if you're in the boggy trails like i've just been it's fantastic for grip and stuff like that but on uh, hard surfaces like pavements and roads um especially running downhill uh, you've got to take it quite easy otherwise otherwise you can ruin your your knees and joints and the last thing i want to do now is pick up an injury um obviously one thing i didn't mention before this is all for uh alzheimer's research uk there's a just giving page justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash easy said run one two three that's justgiving.com forward slash fundraising morning forward slash easier said than run one two three other other runners basically got blanked 
whatever. Um, okay, so that's one thing. Other thing is, um, a few people have messaged me saying that they'd be quite keen to come out for a run. If anybody wants to come out for a run with me, send me a message. Um, I'm quite tempted to put on line maybe my training schedule. So that if anyone finds a time or a date in particular that they'd, they'd like to come out with me, that'd be great. These runs are good, um, good for headspace on your own, but also equally really good to get some company. Um, one condition of coming running with me is that you like, you share, you subscribe, and you comment um, below. So click like, um, click share, try and spread the word. All for obviously the great cause, uh, the, sorry, the great charity doing things for a wonderful cause, Alzheimer's Research UK. Again, just giving page, uh, justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash easy said than run one, two, three. I'm nearly at the bottom of the hill, so I'm going to log off. Have a great weekend, everybody, and no doubt I'll speak to you soon. Take care now. Bye bye.